Battery powered inverters have a general design formula. Yeah, Ego kicks that to the curb with their new Nexus power station. The new Nexus power station uses anywhere from one to four Ego 56 volt batteries to provide power. It can generate up to 2000 watts continuous with a 3000 watt surge. That's a 50% ratio, much more than you get with gas or even diesel generators. So what can you power with it? Well, Kohler's N-Cube was able to run tools up to 11 amps, and Gold Zero's Yeti moved us to the 12 and a half amp class in our testing. The Ego Nexus power station beats them both by running 15 amp sidewinders and worm drive circular saws, even under load. It doesn't run all 15 amp motors though, the power station wasn't able to get past the startup surge of Skill Saw's heavy duty worm drive table saw. However, we were able to run a 17,500 cubic feet per minute drum fan while making cuts with our sidewinder at the same time. This is a big step forward in power, but it might get even better. With both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, Ego can issue firmware updates as they find new ways to optimize output and accommodate new features. If you happen to exceed the load, resetting is simple. Hold the main power button down for three seconds to restart it, then power back up the outlets you want to use. Done deal. While you can use any combination of batteries you want, you'll get the best capacity from Ego's 7.5 amp hour battery packs. That gives you 1,680 watt hours, 20% more than Goal Zero's Yeti 1400. Another advantage Ego has over Goal Zero, Kohler, and others is they're using external batteries. If you need more runtime, just grab an extra set to hold in reserve. Now, which batteries you use makes a difference in more than just runtime. A two or two and a half amp hour pack will only run the power station at 600 watts. A five amp hour or a couple two, two and a half amp hour packs boosts that to 1200 watts. But if you use a seven and a half amp hour pack or combined packs to get the equivalent or more of that, you'll get it to its maximum 2000 continuous watts of output. Essentially, it's about the number of cells in each battery. 14 cells gets you 600 watts. 28 cells gets you 1242 cells or more let you reach full power no matter what combination of batteries you use to get there. Looking at the charging cord, you'll see it connects to the power supply which lives outside the power station. That's intentional. Ego designed the power station with the potential to handle an upgraded rapid charger without requiring an internal component upgrade. You would just purchase the new power supply and perhaps run a firmware update. But for now, like most battery inverters, charging is an exercise in patience. Our seven and a half amp hour batteries were nearly drained and it took a little less than 13 hours to get all four up to full capacity. While the batteries are charging, the unit will switch from one battery to the next at regular intervals to keep the batteries as close to the same level as possible. That way, if you need to use it mid charge, it can deliver whatever power it has more evenly and maintain a higher level of output. One important note, you can't charge and discharge at the same time. If you have something plugged in and then you plug in the charger, it's gonna cut your power and prioritize charging your batteries. What you can do is add or swap out batteries on the fly without losing power. If you're down to just 14 or 28 active cells, the power station will lower its output, but it won't turn off completely. And it'll jump right back up when you put the next battery in. The large LED screen is highly visible, even in bright sunlight. It also gives you lots of information though the app gives you even more detail. Once you're connected, you can choose between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections, see how many watts are currently going out, turn individual outlets on and off or the USB bank, and see how much charge each battery has as a percentage. If you're using older Ego batteries, they'll blink through their red, yellow, green cycle. Not to worry, they're still delivering the power just fine. Newer Ego batteries, however, have a new five segment LED ring. This gives you a better indicator of your charge status. Unlike its competition, the Nexus power station has a roll cage built around it to increase its chances of surviving a tumble. They also designed the batteries to fall off if it hits the ground to better protect them and the unit from shock. With its covers in place, you get an IPX4 rating. It means the power station can take 10 minutes of splashing water and rain, but it's not designed to survive prolonged use or exposure. Since there's no emissions, there's no issue running the unit inside your tent, RV, cabin, or any room you're working in. The kit is currently selling at Home Depot with two 7.5 amp hour batteries for just under $1,200. You can add two other batteries you already own or pick up two more to get to full capacity. If you buy extra 7.5 amp hour packs, your total cost is roughly $1,899. That's $100 more than the Yeti 1400, but you do get 20% more capacity and 33% more continuous power output. The Ego Nexus power station is the most capable battery inverter we've used in terms of the power we can get out of it. 
Its design also gives you a lot of versatility. With zero emissions and almost no noise, it's great for tailgating, camping, hunting, not to mention emission or noise restricted job sites. It's also great for providing emergency power, especially living in an apartment where sticking a gas generator outside just isn't an option. The average power outage is only three hours in the US, but if you're thinking about extended use due to hurricanes and earthquakes, don't worry. Ego is bringing solar panel compatibility. In the meantime, we're curious what you might use something like this for. We've certainly got some ideas of where to start around here. Be sure to subscribe, like, and or follow us for more great tool reviews and news, and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.